we are finally starting to see um, some success stories where, where people took action and homes survived. And then going back even a couple more weeks uh, recently down in Chile, you mentioned South America, they've had some, some really terrible wildfires. It's the peak of their season right now. And there was a community that two years ago had had a wildfire nearby. They decided that they needed to take action. It was a, a neighborhood of about 40 homes and they began doing clearing and, and hardening homes. And then this year, the wildfire burned up on three different sides. They're at the very top of a, of a knoll and the fire came at them from three sides, not a single home burnt. And wow. had this been almost anywhere else or had they not done that, um, I haven't met anybody yet in, in the wildfire space that thinks that, that they would have survived. So that was a, a really powerful lesson. And then um, the the house in Lahaina, uh, terrible yeah. devastation that we saw, but there was that one home that stayed standing and people called it the miracle house, but there was really nothing miraculous about that. They took a lot of actions. They, they were doing it for other reasons like termite redu risk reduction, um, but they did a lot of the right things and um, that helps explain it. So. We, we do see these examples of where this science works and where people take action, it does have a big impact.